start laying some user tracks in a specific area and then we're going to add an object through the image modeling node. So let's jump into the video and see how to do that. So we're going to click on create and the first tracker is going to be on this warning sticker which is a bit blurry so we might need to stop the tracker a few times and then readjust its position. I'm just going to change of course the pattern area and the user area and then we're going to take the failure threshold lower it to 0.4 so the tracker is less sensitive to problems and issues with the footage we're also going to make sure that we're going to enable the auto keyframe and since we have about 95 frames in the sequence we're going to keep the auto keyframe on 10 now this will cause pf track to put a keyframe every 10 frames i can also change it if i want to 11 frames or any other number that you think is suitable sometimes adding keyframes or automatic keyframes in this case will allow you to have better and solid trackers now if i want to change the deformation because the, this is a handheld shot i'm going to change the deformation to rotate and skew and in order to keep these attributes the same for every other tracker i'm going to create here I'm going to click on set default so this tracker i am on frame 74 i'm going to track it forward going back to 74 and then track it backwards now around now when i go back i see that this little area starts to slide a little bit so i can just readjust it and then track it forward and now this tracker is sitting properly on that sticker so let's track another point so I'm going to click on the create and there is a great contrast point here at the bottom of this generator and I am on the first frame so I'm going to track forward and notice that once I created this tracker automatically it remembered the deformations the failure threshold and the auto keyframes because we clicked on the set default so I'm going to track the rest of this area and we'll be right back so I put extra more trackers on the generator in points where I found good contrast points and corners. And now what we can do, we can take the user track information and combine it with the geometry tracking. So if I go now to the geometry tab and I ask for the image modeling, I can click, drag and drop it into my tree view here. So in the next video, we're going to take the information from the user track and the cube that we just created in the image modeling, and we're going to see how to work them in order to have a tracked camera. So before we finish this video, we're going to click on the cube and rename it to be generator capital O BJ. So this is going to be the generator object. So we saw how to minimize our tracking to a specific area and we also worked with the image modeling node in order to bring in geometry that is going to cover the area that we would like to object track.